Down here at IRI, T number 1676, the Pass CAC Pioneers. This was your number one ranked uh, team on the Darwin Division uh, this year at Championships. Also won the Waterbury District as well, too. So can't wait to talk more about their incredible machine, some cool community initiatives on behind the bumpers. Uh, so a few things we'll be talking about here today. Uh, their elevator, they have a cool battery box, some neat electronics as well, too. Uh, so we're going to start out, uh, you're going to be talking about uh, kind of the uh, intake and the elevator. Let's go through that a little bit. Thank you. So uh, for our intake, we really wanted to make sure that we were combining both game pieces. That was very important to us uh, to make sure that we could do the rocket fully. So we have the intake here for the hatches. It's just a passive system. Go in, grab, pull out. Uh, and then once we're going up to the rocket, just push it on and then close up, back away. Uh, for the balls, just directly under that. We just turn on the wheels, suck it in go up, suck it out. Uh, and then when we get to the elevator here, uh, we're very proud of this elevator. Uh, it goes very quickly to each stage. We have the four bar here uh, so that we can get up to the balls on the third stage. Everything else is with the four bar down, hatches and balls. Uh, and then on the back here, we've got this bicycle brake that we use just to stop it in any particular location, uh, just to make up for the lack of the gear ratio being so high. All right, thanks. Looking at Ava, you're going to run us through uh, kind of in the back here on the robot as we uh, venture back here. Uh, you want to talk about your battery box a little bit and then uh, this uh, little Stinger uh, pneumatic mechanism back here as well, too. So another piece on our robot that re we're really proud of is our really fast tab two climb. As you can see, there's one piston in the front and one piston in the back. When we were designing this, a big challenge was space and how we were going to fit it. As you can see, we're way in the electrical board here and almost hitting the compressor. So what we actually had to do was make the battery box incredibly strong and mount it on the side, which not only saved us a bunch of space, but a bunch of weight. And if you look at the front on the intake, there is a cutout on the back so that it doesn't hit the tab two climb. So integration was a really big part of the HAB2 climb and something that we're really proud of. A couple last things we want to talk about here. Uh, the electronics panel, which will try to get you a nice little close-up as well, too. Uh, and then some community initiatives. Well, let's start with the electronics on your bot. Okay. Um, back here we have our electronics panel. This is on this slanted panel. We actually keep motor controllers on the back side, and then we keep most of our the rest of our electronics on the underneath panel. It was very tight for space because of all the elevator and four bar in the front, but luckily we were able to figure it out. And then beyond this robot, we actually partnered with West Virginia University to create a robot for non-ambulatory students to be able to participate in gym classes. It actually kicks a soccer ball by hitting a button, and that allows the students to be able to get the experience of kicking a soccer ball without um, actually having to move. And it is really fantastic, and they love it down at West Virginia University. Well, thanks, Manny. Thanks to 1676 and Pascac Pioneers for sharing more about their robot and cool initiatives they have as well, too. Uh, guys, good luck here, of course, at the IRI, and can't wait to see what you do more in future seasons. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers, keeping fun loud, live, and independent.